Hey everybody, on this episode of Mr. Fix, we just had a big dump in the snow. This is the first snow of the year, 15 centimeters, plus freezing rain in a couple of hours. Snow blower worked great, broke halfway. So, in this, what happened here in this case is that it throws, but the drive doesn't work. So I think it's a pin inside the shaft that we're going to have to take a look at. And a good indicator of that is, I listen for the cable, there's tension, it's going, it's not a problem. So if I was to push it a little bit, you should hear the gears turning and the drive, right? So let me tilt it. You hear anything? No, but my wheels are turning. So next thing we have to do is, we're gonna have to take off the bottom Look where it is, look at the shaft, and hopefully it's just a pin bolt that we have to change. So if I look here, this is the pin that I was talking about, right? Right there. That looks good. Now, I see another problem that we have here is the chain. Well, this chain looks like the chain broke. So all we're gonna have to do is put a pin or something in here. Now, once you find that screw that you're gonna get, make sure that it fits in on the bench. I'm gonna go, we're gonna put the chain on and then we're gonna thread it through, go and then cut this thing off. So this link, half of this link is like not totally around, if you could see that, and on this side. So I just got to drill it through because just so everything fits properly. You want that chain relatively tight up the top on that other gear. And then when you're brought, bringing it down here, they should all match up perfectly so then we're able to put in this one right there, okay? And feather it through nice and easy. Now once you start seeing it coming out, the other side. It's good that it's a tight fit. I'm gonna put the nut on. The other side. Even file it a little bit, just be careful. And you can test it when you undo it, that, that nut doesn't come off. So if it ever does loosen or come off, it'll stop. Yeah. yeah. So you want to make sure that it'll stop there, okay? So you keep filing, make sure that it's flat so it doesn't have a thread to come off. Either that or if you had a lock nut, that'd be a little bit better for you. What you could also do is maybe take a little hacksaw and cut into the thread there just a little bit just to stop it from coming off. Whatever you do, whatever you gotta do, just to kinda make it so it doesn't come off.
Yeah, that looks really good now. Now it's like, even if it loosens, it won't come off. So I hacksawed it. I kind of like just crimped it a little bit with the pliers, made sure. So that nut's not gonna come off without some really brute force. So that'd be pretty good. Now, here's what that link will look like after you put it through. Should, uh, should do you temporarily. Make sure the wheels will spin on you. Make sure it goes all the way around. No obstructions. That looks good. So there you have it. Will it work? Yes. Long-term fix? Probably not. Will it get you through probably until you get a new chain? Absolutely. So just play with it, see what happens. Make sure that it's not too big and not gonna interfere with something else as far as the drivetrain and the gearing are concerned. But uh, you know, to get you going until your next uh, chain that you ordered or the pin that you have to replace, it'll do the job, all right? So good luck to you on fixing your snowblower chain drive. And thanks for watching, Mr. Fix.